it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing Be My Baby by the Ronettes. This is such a classic and it's so fun to play it and sing. The rhythms are a little tricky or at least physically relentless, but you can totally just take the chords and simplify the rhythms as much as you need and I will give you some options for that. Let's jump in. <laughs> Okay, so first off, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. There's a link down in the description that's gonna help you follow along and see where the chords and the lyrics line up with each other. This song is in the key of E major, so four sharps, although it does step outside of that a little bit. And this is middle C here, so you can get the octave. We'll start out with the intro. Here are the chords, or lack thereof for that four measures here, and we are in 4-4 four, four time, so each measure in the song gets four counts. Pretty fast tempo, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the NC here stands for no chord, because the song opens with just the drum kit, the boom, 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 ka, boom, boom, boom. If you're playing in a band, have your drummer do it. But if you are doing a solo piano arrangement, I think it sounds really cool to play the kick drum rhythm on just a low E. To do that, we need to be thinking in eighth notes, so not just counting one, two, three, four, but dividing the beat in half, thinking one and two and three and four and. And we'll be playing that low E on one, two, and three, four. So one and after two and three. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four. After those two measures, we're gonna bring in an E major chord in the right hand. This is an inversion on a root position E major. We've got B, E, and G sharp there. And I'm gonna show you a bass line to do here, but if you wanna keep it simple, you can just hit an E bass note here, the same one we did for the first two measures. This is probably a good time to talk about the rhythm options. Throughout this song, I'm gonna be doing eighth note chords in the right hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. It does get a little tiring, so just try to keep everything loose. But if that is too much, you could do quarter notes. One, two, three, four. That still sounds really good. Or you could even just hold them out to three, four, especially when the singing starts. But I'll be doing those eighth notes. And for this section of the intro, I'm gonna do the bass line that we hear on the recording. It sounds like this. So really cool, here's what that looks like. We've got an E, then we're gonna step up to F sharp, back down to E, and then down to B. Timing there is one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So same rhythm we did for the no chord measures, but also playing that B on beat four. And like I said, you could do the quarter notes in the right hand, one, two and three four one two and three four or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then we are in the first verse here's the chords for the verses it starts out with two measures of the e i'm gonna just keep doing it the way we are doing it in the intro then we also need an f sharp minor coming up here to C sharp, F sharp, and A. Once again, it's an inversion on a root position, F sharp. I'm doing an F sharp down here. I like second finger there. And then a B7. I'm gonna voice it like that. Notice how smooth that transition is. The top two notes in the right hand can stay where they are. Coming down on my fifth finger to a very low B there, and then using my second finger on a D sharp here. Now you can voice the whole B7 chord if you want with your thumb, but I think that sounds really good and it's a little easier. Just notice that it's two measures of E, but the F sharp minor and the B7 are each a little quicker, just one measure each. The night we met, I knew I needed you so. Second line is the exact same. And if I had the chance, I'd never let you go. So that's the simplest way to play it. All the rhythm options I mentioned in the intro stand here. You could do quarter notes or the eighth notes, which I'm going to be doing. And then for the left hand rhythm, you could just keep it simple. Or what I'm going to do 
overall is do hits on beat one and the and after two. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. So it's, it's like a simplified version of the rhythms we were doing in the intro, which I think is helpful when you're trying to play and sing. The night we met, I knew I needed you so. And if I had the chance, I'd never let you go. So won't you say... Okay, so... Here we've got a G sharp seven chord. I'm gonna use my first finger up here for a G sharp bass note. I'm gonna voice it like that. We got a C, D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. Now that's pretty smooth, notice from the B7 we were on before. These two fingers can stay in the same spot. So that sounds good. And then we've got a C sharp seven next. I'm gonna Kind of collapse my hand, put my fifth finger on the C sharp here, and this would be the full chord. So C sharp, F, G sharp, and B. Now that is a little bit uh, hard on the hand, especially if you're doing the fast rhythm. And you can take your pick. You can omit the top note, so it's just a regular C sharp, or you could just do the top three notes, whichever sounds better. It's a little hard with the wall of sound production on this song to pick out the exact voicings of everything. So just use your ear, whatever you like. And then after that C sharp seven, we've got an F sharp major. Um, I'm gonna come to an F sharp here, probably use my third finger. And then in the right hand, you can keep your first finger where it is. It's gonna look like that. C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. And then finally, we're gonna go back to that same B7. Our third finger's already where it needs to be. Um, and every chord in those two lines lasts for two measures. So let me slowly play through those two lines. So won't you say you love me? I'll make you so proud of me. We'll make them turn their heads every place we go. So won't you? and that would be going into the chorus. Quick note, I just realized I actually like the second finger on the F sharp there because it's smoother getting down to the B. All right, so let's look at the chorus. Here's the chords for that. It's pretty short. Right off the bat, I'm gonna do octaves for the bass notes here. If you can't make that stretch, you can totally stick with the single bass notes. But so we've got two measures of E, just like we've been doing it, but I've got the octaves here. Then we've got C sharp minor. Now, of course, the left-hand octaves are gonna move down to the C-sharp. Only thing in the right hand that needs to change is to put your first finger on C-sharp. So C-sharp, E, and G-sharp. Then we've got A. I'm gonna come down to A here. Actually, like, one, two, three there. This is an inversion on a root position A major chord. So C-sharp, E, and A there. And then from there, we've got this B7. Same one we've been doing, once again, it's a really smooth transition. Our fifth finger is already playing the note we need. Just to raise the energy for the chorus, in addition to hitting the left hand on one, two, and three, I'm also gonna hit on four. One, two, and three, four. But again, just like with the verses, you can use whatever simplified rhythm you want. So won't you please be my little baby? Say you'll be my darling Be my baby now whoa, 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 whoa. One of my favorite things in this song is when it goes to the C-sharp minor, the background vocals are doing the Be my, that my note is really tense in a, just a super satisfying and sort of haunting way. If you don't have background vocal singers when you're playing this song, feel free to add that D sharp with your second finger just to get a little bit of that cool dissonance in there. So after that chorus, we've got another verse. Just like the first, I'm gonna go back to the single bass notes. Um, and I might sprinkle in some of that extra hitting on beat four in the verses too. I'm just gonna feel it out. Um, after that verse, we've got another chorus, just like the first chorus. Then we've got this instrumental section. Looks like this. It's 
just the first line of the verses twice. But um, since I'm not worrying about singing, I'm going to go back to that bass line we did in the intro. And then maybe hit on beat four, two, and three, four. And it just does this twice before going into the last chorus. Now this chorus is structured just like the other ones. On the record, after this chorus, there are two measures of the no chord, just the boom, 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 on the drums. I will, once again, do it with my left hand on E. And then the recording goes around to another chorus without the lead vocals, it's just the background vocals and some ad libs, and then it starts fading out. So. You can decide what you want to do there. I am actually just going to end it conclusively after the two measures of. I actually think that's a really nice way to end the song. Um, and then I don't have to worry about fading out. So I'm shortening it a little bit for my version. Again, do what you want. But that is the end. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I am now going to do a full cover so you can see how all these different parts fit together. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this one. All right, here is my version of Be My Baby. So come on